confused already. Um, simple question, first of all, how long has Skitty Puppy been together, and um, how do you get together? Uh, it started in December 83, and we sort of got together because we sort of share the same tastes, same goals, same visions, and uh, just had a good, uh, a good friend type of relationship to begin with, so the band sort of be became a, second a secondary thing. The band sort of was created uh, by a fluke. We were just sort of fooling around with equipment. When, and we were uh, faced with uh, support by a few people in Vancouver that continued to, to go on and it sort of spawned into something that became uh, what it is. So I mean, it was like one night getting together and it just went from that? Yeah, yeah, well actually one day. Four track experiments. And it more or less, it more or less still continues in that way. I mean, we still, we still do a lot of the, uh, the, exp the recording on four track, and then we'll go into the studio and either redo it or, or just use the four track and, and go from there. So it, it's all, it's all basically a living room project that's just expanded to the stage. You say y'all have the same visions. What exactly? Just to do something different, please, please ourselves in the way of. Uh, we're all collectors of, of, of music records, tapes, and to go out and produce it yourself is, is even more pleasing than finding a rare cassette of records. So, I mean, that, that in a way, I guess that's our goal. Music is, is the most important thing, anyways, for me. So what is, what is success then? That's your, what your goal is. Well, what, what is success? What would be success for you? Just to be, be able to continue what we've been doing up until now without, without sort of being pushed in any sort of direction forcibly. If you bogged down with expenses, this isn't expensive. And if lots of people like it in the meantime, that's... Uh, it's an added bonus for it. Um, I've, I'll describe it as sort of a doom and gloom sound. Um, is this like, how much is it yourself that's what you believe in as any depressing people? Or is it just, uh, how much is it just theatrics or, or what exactly? Well, it's a it's a it's a positive uh, aggression that's being presented in, in in the way that unless you present something that that people have to think about, then they're not going to think about it. So in a sense, we're not really um, living on that level. We're trying to more or less point out that level, and the the, the music is is more in a, in a fighting back kind of level than a than, than a depressing level. Even though uh, some of the songs have been created through depression, but. <laughs> The, the, the end the result is a positive result. Yeah. It's for a positive result. The result is to look at it and then uh, to get out of that, I guess. Exactly. Food for thought. Okay, you've got videos, records, what exactly? Well, we have uh, two, two pieces of vinyl, which is one, one six-song EP, uh, both on the network label. That first six-song EP is called Remission, and an album called Bites that just came out. And uh, we got cassette versions of either one of those, and then a cassette beforehand that we released that was deleted a long time ago. Okay. Um, what were the gigs like? I've, he I've heard you've toured in the States and across Canada and all that. Has it been your first tour, or have you gone before? And yes, it's been our first out of, the, out of the city tour. Before this, we just do special sort of once every four or five months shows in Vancouver, sort of make a special make event. it a bit of a special event, and then. And then uh, it, it had to come for us to be to, to come on the road. I mean, we've been sitting around doing nothing except for writing in, in, in all that time. We need to go out on the road and, and, uh, and uh, you know, show face. Well, why do you think is it? Like, some bands have been together for years and years, and it still takes a long time before they get around to... Playing live? Yeah, play, playing live or getting a lot of people out to see you. Right. And uh, you've been, understand, successful wherever you go. And, like, why do you think? Uh, I think it's a matter of exposing yourself to the right audience. In the right way. You don't want to get stuck in playing bar circuits in three or four nights. I think that's the biggest problem right there, is that a lot of bands think that in order to do something, that they have to start out in the bar circuits, and they have to start out by pleasing the, 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 that, that type of uh, sort of circuit. Instead and of that's trying to present themselves in a novel way. Yeah. And that, that in itself will be the death of, of every band, the way we feel. We, we, would, we would never play in a, in a club or two sets or play cover songs unless that we mutated them or something. What are some, um, there's definitely many benefits. The benefits and downers, I guess, for being on the independent records. Benefits? Sure. Uh, the benefits are you, you, you have total control over what uh, you want to release and how you want it to be done. 
you have a good uh, knowledge of what's happening with with the with where the record is being, you know, where it's going. You have a good uh, knowledge of what's or what it's actually doing versus with the major label that goes out and it's, it sits there on a shelf. You have no idea what it's doing, where it's been, what promotion's been done. Independent label is is like a uh, well, for ourselves, anyways, it's a uh, it's a bunch of artists who have gotten together that are sort of sick of the sort of major label uh, ways, and uh, and we're just sort of pushing to sort of uh, better ourselves without having to uh, without having to go through all that. And I think I think it's prob prob probably the happiest way for a band. I think you'll find a lot a lot more um, true success in in your own standards than you would on a major label, especially these days. How did the theatrics come to mind in the stage? Just by um, not wanting to present something in the usual boring foray, I guess. But other reason is the I'm, I'm into kind of uh, that type of presentation, too. Something both visually and... and... And both kind of ritualistic way of venting aggression, I guess. I want to get really articulate. I'm not an artic articulate person, so not to worry there. Um, so what, are, what is the future then? What's, what's an okay short-term future and long-term? Well, for the meantime, we're, we're, we're working on a couple of uh, new songs for a new four-song 12-inch that we're going to try and put out within the next couple of months. And then uh, we'll be still finishing our tour after, uh, after Christmas time, going down the West Coast into... Texas and all that area, I guess, and then and then there's a tentative European tour that's going to be done by the European label that releases our EP, Play It Again, Sound Records, which should be within a couple months. Okay. Video um, work is also on the horizon. We're also looking for a video artist that uh, we can com combine our ideas with his his talents and see what we can come up with. But as yet, we we we've had, we have a few people who who we've talked to, but nothing concrete has actually come up. We actually had uh, this this guy f follow us around for uh, all of the first Canadian dates that we did on this tour, and he, he videotaped uh, he videotaped them all with uh, either one one to three cameras, and he's going to be shooting or uh, putting together a documentary of the tour, which should be um, should be interesting. I've seen some footage; it seem, seems to be really interesting. He's captured uh, a side of us that nobody has on video before, which is good. Get it done here eventually. Uh, uh, it's, I guess, interesting the, the contacts you make in each city and just the different... Uh yeah, so that's one of the reasons we're out here doing this. It's, it's like breaking new ground, meeting new people and new contacts. Also, it gives you a good idea of just exactly what wh what what is happening in each city. Like, if, you know, should, if is there a good uh, chance of, like, concentrating on this city versus this city? And, and you really can sift through it and find out, like, just exactly where this kind of music is happening or, or, or it's not happening. Okay, so, like, briefly, what are some of the, from what experience so far, what are some of the highlights and uh, not, not the great ones? Um, they've all they've, they've all been uh, they've all been unique in their own way. Everyone's been different. Everyone has been uh, an entirely different room. We've gone from playing uh, halls like this one to uh, to uh, cafes in Milwaukee. That uh, I don't know. They've, they've all been successful. Uh, I think uh, for us it was it was. Being the first time we've, we've gone into the East Coast United States, it was also a chance for us to really learn to understand just exactly, you know, what to, what kind of things can happen there versus what kind of things will happen. And it seems po it seems positive in every city. It's good to be back in Canada, though. Canada. Okay. Um, any last last minute words here? No. Okay, the old continued success in the future, and I uh, hope to see you down here again. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Uh, you've been watching Skinny Puppy.